Hi everyone, my name is Miss Kathy and welcome to our special Thanksgiving edition of SST or Seabreeze Storytime. It's a special midweek program for kids and their families to help your hearts and minds stay focused on Jesus throughout the week. Well, for this edition today, we have a special guest. She's gonna help us remember to be thankful this Thanksgiving, even during this really crazy year. As a matter of fact, she has her own video series, which she's gonna to use today. Let's hear what she has to say. Take it away, Miss Sharon. Thank you, Miss Kathy. Hello, my name is Sharon Story, host of Share Your Story, the show where people share how God has worked in and through their lives. Now I know what you're thinking. Whoa, Sharon, you look so familiar. Well, it's true. I have one of those faces. I look like a lot of people. Supermodels, famous actresses, but I don't let it go to my head. <clears throat> Where were we? It, oh, uh, yes. November 26th is a very special day. It's Thanksgiving. And we are going to hear from Paul, an apostle of Jesus, how to be thankful even in very difficult times. Now, Paul lived about 2,000 years ago, but through the magic of Zoom, we will hear from him about how he and another man were thrown into prison. Let's go to Paul. Hello, Paul. Are you ready to share your story? Yes, I am. Uh, I was raised in Tarsus, uh, which is in Asia Minor, uh, Southern Asia Minor to be exact. Uh, and my, when I was born, I was called Saul and I was raised as a, a Pharisee. I really hated Jesus and really hated everything he stood for. After he died and he rose again and he went back to heaven, which I did not believe, I still hated him and his followers and really wanted them to all be put in prison and even killed. One day, I was on my way to another city to have some of those believers arrested. And Jesus spoke to me in an incredible, miraculous way while I was on the road to Damascus. At that time, I became a believer and I began to preach to others all about Jesus and that He was the Messiah. And I also began to go by the name Paul. Now, several months ago, I was with another Christian and his name is Silas. And we were in the city of Philippi and a Roman, which is a Roman colony. We were heading to a place of prayer and when we were arrested, the people who lived in that city, they were really angry with us and they brought us to the officials of that city and they said that we were trying to encourage the people that lived there to do things that were unlawful for Roman citizens to do. The officials then decided to punish us, so they whipped us with rods like this one and then they threw us into jail. Wait a minute. They hit you and Silas with those? Yes, they did, Sharon. It was very painful, as you can imagine. And after they beat us, they told the guard to really watch us carefully. So he took us and he put us in the innermost cell and then locked our legs into stocks. Did you say socks? How nice. They wanted to keep your feet warm. Well, I should think they would after hitting you with those rods. No, Sharon, not socks, stocks. Oh, sorry. I have some of those. I have some Amazon and Purell stocks and they are going through the roof. Um, no, Sharon, not that kind of stocks, this kind of stocks. They are wooden boards clamped around your ankles and they make you sit in one place. Oh, wow. Those look so uncomfortable. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Thank you, Sharon. You know, despite all of our suffering, 
Silas and I knew that Jesus Christ was our Lord and our Savior. And we knew that we would have eternal life with him in heaven someday. We felt so grateful that we began to sing songs and all the other prisoners began to listen to our songs. You sang songs of praise, even though you were in such pain? Oh, that's amazing. Sing a little ditty for us now, won't you, Paul? Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. That was one of the songs we sang. But then around midnight, a huge earthquake shook the whole building. The stocks on Silas and me and the chains on the other prisoners, they were all shaken off and the prison doors were swung wide open. The jailer came running in and when he saw this, he assumed that all the prisoners had fled and he knew that he'd be punished for us escaping. So he took out his sword and he was just about to kill himself. And I called out to him, don't harm yourself, we're all here. When he realized that, he said to us, how must he be saved? And I said, to believe in Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you will be saved, you and your household. He took us to his house and he washed our wounds and he fed us a meal and we explained to them what it meant to follow Jesus. And they were all baptized and we were all filled with great joy. The next morning, the officials released us from jail and even though it was a painful and an uncomfortable situation, we were so happy that God gave us the opportunity to be there so that we were able to share with the jailer and his family about becoming followers of Jesus. Thank you for sharing your story with us, Paul. Goodbye. Oh, wasn't Paul's story amazing? Even though he and Silas were thrown into prison, they continued to praise and thank God. And through their faithfulness, the jailer and his entire family began to become followers of Jesus. Thank you so much for letting me help to share Paul's story. Thanks, Miss Sharon. You know, you do look like someone I know. It's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, well. <laughs> anyway, it's easy to get upset when things don't go the way we want them to, especially this year when nothing is going as we planned it. We've had to stay in our homes, wear masks. Some of you go to school part-time. Some of you go to school online. We won't necessarily get together with people like we normally do at the holidays. It's easy to forget to thank God and remember He does bless us even during these difficult times. Now, thankfully, we aren't in danger of being thrown into prison for following Jesus like Paul and Silas were, but we can allow ourselves to be thrown into the emotional prison of poor me and start to feel very sorry for ourselves when things don't go the way we want them to. Paul and Silas could easily have allowed themselves to be thrown into that poor me prison, and frankly, no one would blame them for doing that, but they didn't. They continued to praise and thank God even during a very, very difficult time. So this Thanksgiving, when you celebrate, however your family celebrates, remember to thank and praise God for all He's done for you. He's provided you with a family, a church, friends, but most importantly, He's provided you with a Savior in His Son, Jesus Christ. And Jesus is also a wonderful example of how to live a life pleasing to God even when things don't go the way we want them to. Well, that's it for this episode of SST. You can go to our website, seabreezechurch.com, and download a fun activity for your family to do. There's also a coloring page if you'd like to do that as well. We did a series earlier this fall on handling our emotions, and you can watch all five of those episodes on our Family Resources page. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you have a very happy and thankful Thanksgiving. Bye-bye.